The Fayette County Public Relations Initiative created Fayette Faces and Places to highlight the incredible people, organizations, and places that make Fayette County unique. Each month, we share their stories and how they're helping to move Fayette forward. For several days this month, when other teens were enjoying a break from schoolwork and responsibilities, 15 teens from six Fayette County schools gave up a portion of their summer breaks in order to learn how to develop their leadership skills. Those students attended the first ever Fayette Youth Leads program hosted by the Fayette Business Education Partnership and the Fayette Chamber of Commerce and held at various locations throughout the county. Sponsors of the program included Westmoreland Fayette Workforce Investment Board, WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital, Bay Penn Economic Development Council, and the Grayson House. FBEP coordinator Kathy Hall said she'd been working on the program since well before school let out for the summer. We started recruiting for this program in May by reaching out to the school districts, to our chamber members, and the people who come to our Fayette Business Education Partnership meetings to see if they may know of any students who might have been interested in the program. Hall said participating students needed to be high school students with a desire to expand their knowledge of the community and a willingness to dedicate a small portion of their summer to leadership development. The participants also needed a grade point average of 2.5 or higher and a letter of recommendation from a teacher or faculty member. The 15 students accepted into the program came from Albert Gallatin, Brownsville, Frazier, Laurel Highlands, and Uniontown Area School Districts, as well as Calvary Chapel Christian School in Brownsville. This amazing group of young people came together and developed skills that they would need for the future, and it was so amazing to watch as they grew from one day to another into different human beings by the end of the program. The five-day program began with a kickoff night that included team building exercises and icebreakers. Each morning, students were given a leadership curriculum created by Sarah Sladek, an author and researcher on the topic of generational differences at XYZ University. Each day featured its own topics of discussion and opportunities to meet with local community leaders. Participants had the chance to meet with Fayette County Commissioners Dave Lohr, Vince Vesides, and Scott Dunn, along with Judge Steve Leskinen and Assistant District Attorney Rob Harper. Finally, participants were ready for presentation day. The students were to present a project called Project Leadership. What the project consisted of is they had to choose a leader, tell us why they chose that leader, the kind of leadership skills that the person has, and what they've taken away basically from this entire project. Participants said the program taught them several things about themselves and helped them make new friends, along with giving them a fresh perspective on local businesses and leadership. Paul said the goal of Fayette Youth Leads is to develop ethical leaders committed to active community involvement. And though this year's program was the pilot, it has already been quite a success. This was our pilot year and we were so excited for the results of this program and we can't wait to see where we take this program next year.